The Ritz Carlton Review. I recently stayed at the Ritz Carlton Bar Harbor, Miami, and I was impressed. I personally stay at one of several Marriott brands because they always treat me right and the quality is consistent. I know what to expect. I love it. I never had a bad Marriott experience. I usually stay at the courtyard residence in that kind of level of service. The Ritz Carlton is also a Marriott brand and I decided to take the experience to the next level and surprise my wife. We were at five hours before our check-in time and the staff was apologetic to us that the room was not ready just yet. And to me, I didn't mind a bit because we were again five hours early, check out time was 11 and we arrived at 11. All I was hoping for is they would hold our luggage while we go about our day and they did that no problem. They went ahead and checked us in, not really giving our room just yet, but gave us our band so that they know that we are guests there so we can start using some of their amenities. So at first we just kind of explored the place to check it out because we've never been at Ritz before and it was beautiful. And yes, even the bathrooms, I know it's kind of odd thing to say, but yes, I felt weird recording it, but this is gorgeous. Take a look. So while we waited for our room, we had a Cubano at the Water's Edge restaurant, which was delicious. And of course this beautiful view of the beach, the pool, great cabanas, even a hot tub. And one of the things we decided to do was to relax at their beach. They had a private beach area. And they even had contemporary sunblock there, which was very nice. And lotion, a bunch of stuff like that. Things you don't usually get at a hotel. As soon as we actually got to the beach area, someone was already waiting at the beach. The moment you arrived, someone was there to fetch you some chairs and some towels. They ran out in front of us, grabbed us a few chairs real quick so we could immediately start enjoying the beach. We went to the middle of June, which you would think would be very packed, but they said the June is actually slow season for the people who actually go to the Ritz Carlton because the people who tend to go to Ritz Carlton are you know, the upper class people and they travel north to get away from the heat. And they come south for the winter, for the warmth. So we got to enjoy this very fancy hotel, pretty much almost all to ourselves. I only saw a handful of people the entire time we were there. And as you can see, the size that we got had plenty of room, plenty of lights and different ways to customize those lights. They even had little reading lights, which my wife loved. I didn't use it during this day. And bathrooms had gorgeous views. And of course, it comes with a comfortable tub and a walk-in shower. I can't tell you how much I loved this view. There's even a TV in the mirror, which term to me seemed like it was a waste. Kind of, maybe you should have put it in a place that was better viewed from the tub. But hey, what do I know? And of course, we enjoyed our balcony view later that night. For dinner, we actually ate at the Artisan Beach House and it was amazing. One of the best meals I have ever had. Definitely lives to the high expectations a Ritz Carlton would have. The short ribs was amazing. The truffle fries was amazing. The portions were generous. My wife and I actually decided to split this meal just because we wanted room for dessert. And we were still stuff after this. So it was not only delicious, but filling as well. It was a little pricey, but again, it's a Ritz Carlton. But you get what you pay for. You pay a little pretty penny for that meal. And man, it was worth every penny. Another thing I was surprised at the Ritz Carlton is every time we left our room, someone came and cleaned it. Every time we went out, whether it be the beach, to dinner, we just explore, someone came and tied it up a little bit. Not that we're messy people, but you could tell someone came in and refixed the bed a little bit, emptied out the trash. So it was that over the top experience there. Would I stay at a Ritz Carlton again? Yes, I would. I enjoyed my stay here, but this wouldn't be my everyday hotel. It is an expensive brand, and the merits that I stay at, whether the residence inn or the courtyard, to me, are just fine. But if I want that elevated experience, I'm definitely choosing Ritz Carlton again. Let me know if you stayed at Ritz Carlton, what you thought of it, or if you're considering one and you have more questions, feel free to leave a comment, and I'll see you all next time.